I love the colors. This would be so great in the summer for like people that eat things in the summer. Well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and today we are here at an estate sale in Ocala, Florida. There are gonna be a couple different estate sales that we're gonna to head to today, so let's check out this first one and see what we can do. Yeah, good. Looks like there's towels in here. I won't do that. There's a bathroom this way. Look at them bath mats. Some toiletries. Got lots of knickknacks over here too. That's pretty. There's a little chip on the bottom. $15 and a chip there under that ledge. That's a nice one. This is pretty too. It's like a puzzle for $12. Yes, it's one of those puzzles for 12. Wind catcher. It's like some Boyd's Bears maybe. Yeah, the little Boyd's Bears. Price tag fell off. This butterfly trivet's nice. It's only $3 for the brass piece. That's probably from the 70s or 80s. Yeah. It's pretty good. Oh, they've got some furniture out here as well. Table. Some very 1990s chairs. Oh, that's a cool wicker. I, the color is wrong, I think. I think $10 would be better and maybe a different cushion. But that's fun. Okay. I don't think I'm going to do any more of these. It's a lot of resin figurines. Mostly resin, not ceramic. Just a little box. It's $3. Kinda cute, really. Let's see, they've got glassware over here. Nice deviled egg plate with divided interior. That's kind of fun. Has the Greek key pattern on there. That's eight dollars. It does feel like crystal as well, but it's pressed glass rather than cut glass. There's a flower frog for three dollars. I, uh, that's really not a bad price at all. Three dollars. I'm gonna get that one. They have a lot of jewelry on the table, but that looks like it's being looked at pretty intently right now, so it's a lot of costume jewelry. This is pretty, too. It's like a little dish with the, uh, enameling on it. That would be Nippon, and Nippon dates to 1921 or a little bit earlier than that. Got a little Buddha statue here for six dollars. That's made in China. Let's go to this room over here. There's another room this way. Looks like they have odds and ends in here. Some little vanity trays, random electronics. Mm. Those are cool. How much do they have on those? 25? That is a mother of pearl lacquerware or shellac. They have them priced separately. Oh wow. The peacocks. If you just get the pair of peacocks, that would be so cool. Those are very neat. I've actually sold something like this before, and I did really well on Etsy with it. Now, the shipping was really annoying, but that is so great. Look at the detail on there. So good. So you could get both of them for $50. There's another little room over here, and I noticed this teapot. This should be made by Porcelier from about 1900. It has this cactus motif on there. Let's look at the bottom of it. It should, it's $3. Porcelier is pretty fun. They actually made a lot of light fixtures in the same heavy, same heavy material. Okay, actually this is the Enterprise Aluminum Company Dripolator. 
That looks a lot like the Porcelier though, and it has the same feel too. That's really cool for $3. I'm really tempted by that, but the shipping and I don't know. I almost forgot there was a kitchen to look at. They've got all of this here. Cookie jar of a pear, some flatware. There's a Tupperware pitcher here. This little, that's a nice pitcher too. Some coffee filters, very handy to keep. Oh, they've got loose that grapes that somebody snatched up already and that really cool brass swan planter. Looks like the whole table. Oh, and the fiber optic light up flower. That would have been cool too. That's all mid-century stuff. So there's a mid-century dealer or collector. Aluminum clad. Farber Wear, which is a pretty good name. There's the garage. Mm -hmm. Some tools. Crafted wreaths. Here's a closer look at the jewelry now that we can see it. Here's a brooch. They've got some really fun. Ooh, look at this koi. The koi brooches. How much do they have on their jewels? On their jewels. Looks like um, $3 each on the brooches. And the earrings are $2 each. So, looks like this. Oh, there's a missing stone on that one. There's a donkey what is this one like a little floral piece that's nice that's a six dollar bird hmm I don't think I see any that I gotta get all right, so now we're gonna get in line, check out. I think I will, actually there's one more room I need to look at and it's the fabric room. There's also another one of these mother of pearl wall plaques. There's two of them in the entryway. This one has a bird. And then here is the room with all of the towels and stuff that we saw. I saw whenever I first walked in. I like picking up old pattern towels whenever I can. I don't see anything that's really jumping out at me here. That quilt looks modern, machined, and it's torn. Up here, they also have this amber glass pitcher for $8. It's pretty nice. And this is pretty cool, too. This blue jar has the gasket kind of lid, keeps it sealed up. All right, estate sale number two is here. First walk in. That is some cool cats. Okay, so it's like a resin material on that one. And this one feels like onyx. Oh, that's cool. It's $8. There's like some signature on the back. Oh, there's a big chip on the ear. Well, I won't do that. Oh, got lots of office supplies here. Here is the kitchen. They've got lots of glassware. Okay. And there's some other dishes over here. This looks like one of those old sour cream containers. They used to come in these decorated glasses like this with labels over the tops to seal them in. This is Hazel Atlas too. Has the capital H, capital A logo. It's fun for $2. The leaf cups, tumblers here. These are nice. There's a little room over here. And a garage. Here we go. They've got all these cordial glasses. It's a pretty purple. A little ruffle bowl, like a rose bowl. I don't see a price on it though. There's a cool trash can here. That's cool. $3 for this one. It's a really pretty pink. I might get that. I really like that. It's kind of mid-century. It has like the hammered look to it. And the, yeah. 
There's also look at that little pyramid for two dollars. I think it's a little bit new, newer. That's the top that opens up. Eiffel Tower. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna get this little purple dish. Maybe. I don't know. I like the trash can though. It's pretty. Looks like there's a bedroom over here. Some art on the walls. A bed. Some newer art. It's kind of a cool cabinet. The the wicker. They've got forty only forty five dollars on that. It's very beachy. Look at these mirrors. Those are kind of mid century looking in a way. Maybe from the eighties though or nineties. I got clothes, which I don't want. There's another bedroom here. This is a nice bedroom. Little diamond point type dish. Looks like almost like a master salt cellar. They have a couple miniatures up here. That one inside the cabinet looks nice. Well, eh, there's a chip on that flower. Never mind. They have some nice stuff up front too. There's a cat. There's a couple cats. We've got this cat paperweight with the bowl of Conte in it. I'm going to get that one. Little bubbles. There's also this one with a frosted glass base. I don't know about that one. But I like this. Fine bone china for $2. That's just kind of cute, you know? For the cat collectors. I like the expression on that one. I don't think two's, two's too bad. And this wood one. That's cute as well for $2. Is this, whoops, is this porcelain? This one feels like, oh, it's one of these trinket boxes. Oh, those are fun. It's like a leopard for five. You know, I'm going to go ahead and get that too. I think that's that'll be fun for somebody. Put that in my, that in my cart. My little basket. I just found this nice large paperweight too for just $5. Needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but look at that nice pink rose in there. Hey, yeah, here's a better look at it in the light. It's really pretty. Just needs to be cleaned up. That flower is very nice in there. Okay, we're at another estate sale here. Actually, let's just go right on inside. The third estate sale. Oh, half price. Maybe a dollar fifty. Got a pantry there. These bowls are fun. They're kind of like plastic. This is pretty. Little bonbon dish. Looks like there's a chip on it though. That'd be two dollars fifty cents, half off. Oh, they've got these really cool candlesticks. This would be two dollars. Oh wow. Are these those butane ones? They look like the butane candlesticks. I should probably get those for two dollars. Might as well. Yeah, that would be kind of neat. They have a lot of collectible plates. Collected by who, I don't know, but somebody did. Lots of them. And some little stuffed animals over there. Oh, they've got some silhouette frames here. Those are really pretty ones. Look, how, look at the color. That's a beach, which is very weird because I don't ever see beach scenes. So this would be $7.50 for this one. Should we get both? Might as well get both. And that. Oh, these candle holders look cool too. The wood ones. It's like one giant candle holder. Isn't that neat? Two dollars would be two dollars fifty. You could put like a whole bunch of lucite candlesticks on there. It'd be fun. I'll get that too. They have some more things over here. A little bowl of fruit. This looks like it's made in China. Decoration. 
Milk glass. That's cool. It has like a smoky bottom to it. Little uh, sher sherbet cups. Okay. Like a cake plate. A nice big compote dish. A big potato holder. Well, I think it's for your sour cream or butter or something. Here's a cake plate here too. Cover dish. There are some records down there too. Some nice silver here. That's pretty. I don't really buy a lot of silver. And then some games and stuff over here. That's kind of a neat box. Well, they have some little things over here in the bedroom. Oh, that's a shame. There's a big crack on that handle because that's really pretty pottery. $3.50 would be half of that. It's Japan. It's Relco, Japan. And there's also these fabric items over here. Some paisley. Let's look under this pile because there might be some stuff hidden. A little rag. Hmm. Pillowcases are pink. A little pillow. Here's a sewn. Here's a sewn piece. A little doily. Some other linens here. Looks like a an apron. That's not a bad apron. Or maybe it's a little table cover. Doilies and handkerchiefs are 50, 50 cents each. Which will actually be 25 cents each today. Looks like a, a smock or a moo moo. <laughs> a moo moo. Okay, yeah, so there's just a little bit of other random kitchen things in here. These are all individually priced, even though they're, they'd be 50 cents each. I'm kind of, I kind of like those bowls. Here's some heavier stoneware. Premier Japan. That's pretty, huh? The mugs are fun. Garden Festival. This pillow. I love that pillow. Oops. Look what I did. I made a mess. Look at this pillow. That's like very Art Deco meets Golden Girls 1980s, 1990. Oh, do I want that? Why do I want that? Because I'm weird. Oh. Do I want that pillow for real? Who am I? If I just wash that, I like this. I'm gonna. How much is this dang thing? Small pillows. It'd be 50 cents. I will play. I'll get it for 50 cents. There's other fabrics in this bedroom. <gasps> Ooh, aren't you beautiful? How much? It'd be, it'd just be a dollar and a half. <gasps> I love this so much. Look at the colors. I'm gonna get that. It's a great little throw blanket. There's also this other one. But I don't like that. There's so many big holes. You, you could just get every finger, every toe in there. Which is never acceptable. More in here. A whole whole closet full of fabrics. Oh my goodness. I didn't even realize. Okay, so I'm going to get this pillow we know. And I'm going to get this beautiful afghan. Well, it's actually not an afghan. It's yarn. It's a yarn blanket. And then there's this. Ooh, I love I love gingham so much. This is like a plaid. What are these? Are these placemats? Oh, they look better on the floor. Oh my gosh, I want these. I love the colors. This would be so great in the summer for like people that eat things in the summer. Oh, this is so good. This, um, this is really good. That almost matches my pillow. No, it doesn't. I love all these colors. Ooh. Okay, there's also this tea towel for shining your, 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 your pitcher and your tumblers. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's so many things in here. How much do they have these things priced? Like all these little, oh. Well, it's all like a dollar and 50 cents washcloth. Towels a dollar, sheets a dollar, pillowcases, small towels. So this would be 25 cents being a small towel. 
but there's a few stains on it. There's a lot of that kind of stuff in here. I need to look off camera so I can really dig in. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Okay, so I found this great little towel that says Monday on it. And I was just, I'm just now looking at it for the first time actually in detail. Okay, so it's just Monday. That'd be like 25 cents. These, these um, placemats, but looks like it's coming, coming undone a little bit, unfortunately. There's four of them. I think I'm gonna not get those. I was gonna get them, but I think not. I did find, I did find this too. I thought that was kind of pretty. So I'll get that. Then there's this fabric, just like the pillow. Same fabric. And then also these placemats. I'm gonna get those for sure. So add that to my pile. Okay, so I will end this video here. I think this last estate sale was really good. Now we are on, this, on the next day. So I, hence why the uh, attire change. But I did really well here. And this is day two of this particular estate sale. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it, 50% off for all that. So the total was like $23. I, I'm really happy about that. So I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.